Okay. Uh, where do we need to go to use the key to the truth? I think it's that one. This way? <laughs> Looks like I missed a door up here, potentially. Which is interesting, because I didn't know there was one up here. Okay, three or above. Let's go for attack uh, cards, uh, give more damage again. Yeah, it's um, it wasn't great. Imagine GLaDOS with a uh, Irish accent. Or Wheatley with an Irish accent. Top of the morning, it is. And confirm I have done just that. Aladdin. Yeah. And confirm that um, I've got a lot yeah. of. Um, Lot of Moogle points to be spending. at some point I crazy never say never um, but you know at the same time I'm kind of like because I've now reduced like the amount of hours a week I'm streaming um, I got more to fit in in that regard so more to fit in with less time because I'm just sort of enjoying doing other things as well at the minute which is 
think, quite important for me. My. It's not just about different games, it's just about like doing more more stuff or doing different stuff. Like I didn't really like have time to just play casual games with like my friends and things, so it's like now on a like on a Wednesday or Thursday night I kinda of spend some time with my um uni friends and I play kinda of like I play uh Warzone, like Call of Duty Warzone. It's something that I never could do before because I was always streaming. So just having the flexibility, um, like rearranging my priorities a little bit. Feel has done like the, the wonders done wonders for me. So yeah. I mean, I'm certainly not bored of Portal, but you know when you played. When you play like over 2,000 hours of the game, um, it certainly can be quite difficult to keep that motivation going. Especially when you kind of get to a point where you feel like all the maps that you're being asked to play are all kind of more challenging games. Uh, more challenging maps, sorry. Um, I'm distracted from concentrating on this at the same time as trying to go through my thought process as well, so... Yeah, it's, um... It's one of those things I say never say never. Because I will always happily go back to Portal. But I think I just really need to take a back step from it and deal with or concentrate on other things at the minute. So... Yeah, that's my, my thought process and where we are at the minute for everything. Like Portal especially. I'm just having like I'm having like a lot more fun just playing other stuff as well. Aladdin. I kinda wanna do just do more than just being like known as like oh the guy who plays Portal. It's hard for me though to like to come to that decision because I completely appreciate that like a lot of people who join the community on Twitch and YouTube both like joined because they wanted to watch me play Portal. So to branch away from the like probably the biggest game like a lot of my community follow is like a difficult decision. But at the same time, I think it's always important that you play what you enjoy and if you don't te if, you, if you're not enjoying it so much then you need to kind of like look and do something else i've always tried to be um as much as i can a variety streamer and not just try and tie myself down to one thing although obviously portal was such a massive part for me um yeah I think more than anything, uh, Papirius, I'm more, like, amazed, like, I was able to keep up the streak. Um, maybe not so much, like, at the, begin at the beginning, but like, midway through, I was, like, churning out, oh, sorry, not so much at the end, but midway through, I was churning out videos, like, every day. I remember, like, one year I was going away on holiday and I pre-recorded, like, best part of like 30 videos 
just to like build me a buffer just so I could have a video come out every day and it just yeah for me it wasn't very sustainable I didn't think so but yeah it was I enjoyed it while I was doing it and I really do still enjoy making videos and streaming but I think at this part of my this time in my life I really need to kind of like just take a little bit more time for myself and you know do a bit more of the things that I actually enjoy not feel like it's such a, a bind or a tie so it was tiring and, and you know the one of the the big weighing points for me the reason I actually decided, you know what, enough is enough, was because of the, the the fact that a lot of the maps in my request queue were so difficult. It was it was just nigh on impossible to like be getting videos out on time or within a timely manner for like the next YouTube sort of schedule. So yeah. I'm sat here for kind of like working on a map for let's say four or five hours and I'm still not even there before I've even like contemplated um, that editing or anything I mean that's another thing I mean kind of made me lazy in a way on my editing because the maps was taking me such a long time there was just no it was such a difficult task to try and like edit like if it's taking me six hours to solve the map, trying to edit a six hour video is just crazy. Um. No, no, it's, it's not nobody's fault, so I don't want anybody to feel like they are partially or uh, responsible for the way things turned out so please don't at all furious you know that's that's something that i wanted to do at the time was to like you know what um i want to ask you guys what you want to see me play rather than just like selecting maps for myself it was more engaging the, the community and, and like trying to play uh, more crazy maps but obviously with that comes the cost of the maps are getting crazy and they are getting difficult and they are more time consuming and you know it just becomes a little less fun for me or it did become a little less fun for me so yeah please don't think you know that um um anybody out there that it was it's your fault the fact that um i had that burnout and things it's not at all I think what I find still quite amazing with Portal is like, despite the age of the game, there is, the community is still very, very active. And people, like you say, people are still dedicating so much time to the game. It's crazy. It really is. Is that, um, wasn't Demon working on that? I didn't know if it was going to be a mod or it was just a map. I remember seeing like a, a while ago, um, Demon posted something.
I remember seeing pictures, so... Okay, I need to do the red card first. Alright, I think it might be uh, boss fight time, guys. Can we have you yikes in the chat? What's this? Aladdin given up on his precious Jasmine already? Well, I'm not going to waste a wish on the likes of you three. I'll deal with you myself. Aladdin, now. What? You, genie, seize him. Ow, forgive me. Grr. I'd get crits for hammer. Nice. I, I still open it up every, from time to time and like try and make something, but uh, don't think to myself, actually, I haven't got time to be putting time into this, so I probably I, I should probably leave it where it is. What do you mean? It means that you just blew your second wish. Only one left. Ed, use it to win Jasmine's heart. You'll still have us to deal with. Oh, now I get it. Ow, oh, you're so clever. Well, well, the cunning of a rat. But unfortunately, you can't see beyond the bait. Your little ploy changes nothing. And crush you once and for all. And make Jasmine my own. Genie, my last wish. Transform me into an all-powerful genie. You're a good doctress. Don't worry about it. Absolutely fine. All right, here we go. Boss fight time. Oh, nice. We're in the temple that we fought in the uh, first game as well. It's so hot. Jafar must be doing this. the lamp go.
This fight is kind of sucky, to be honest. This is a lot worse than uh, fighting KH1. Oh no, oh, that's good enough. Because I just wasted my heal card. Like an absolute bullet. I mean, what is quite nice, though, I guess, about this fight is that it's quite, it is quite slow-paced, so... Yeah, it was, uh, um, the end of the journey to Nox Community, I waited for portal content, now I don't want that, wait for that content, actually I'm still here because I want to be able to get connected to the community, persons are uh, more important than content, though it's a nice bonus if the content is high quality, knowing awesome people is an interesting journey that I love, and I could learn new things, and vice versa, yeah, we, it's, it's, um, similar to kind of, like, approach to, to what I have for Furious, to be fair, I'd much rather just, you know, do something that I enjoy, whether or not people turn up or not, and just like have that kind of sense of community and friendship with people that I will more than likely never ever meet in like real life uh, in person. Um, but to be able to like build those bonds in this community is, um, you know, it's what it's all about for me. I'm really not bothered about, like I said, whether or not we have one person, 10 people or 10,000 people. Um, I'll always just be here doing what I do, um, you know, just ready to chat to you guys, and you know, hopefully you guys can um, enjoy the ride with me. So yeah, I, I do. I appreciate that, Averis. Um All right, all right. Let's uh, let's retry this boss battle. Um, let's also not um, throw away our heal card onto the pile which um, clearly did not help us there at all five years didn't you first did you first like come to the community when we was playing uh, walking dead curious
Oh my god, this is so frustrating. Boss fire flames. No. I'm like a mile away from the microphone. So far.
Let's go then. My goodness, that was rough. Catch up on chat. Um, Rage came in 2020. Uh, Doctor, she think he came late 2020. I think he was playing Black Mesa. Yeah, probably a bit oh, long ago. Jeez, nearly three years ago since he played Black Mesa. Um, it was early 2019 when you joined Twitch streams. Um, he was just starting university. He didn't see all the walking dead playthroughs. Boss looks like Spider Man. I mean, Jafar, Genie Jafar. Yeah, he's a, a bit red. Um, maybe the first season didn't see, but in your YouTube channel, yeah. This time goes by so quickly, like, I can't believe, like, how long, how, how crazy it is, like, how long some people have been in the community. It's, it's yeah, it's crazy. We rescued Jasmine and we got the lamb back. We still have one wish left, Aladdin. It sure does. Time for me to make a print out of this guy. Of course, I'd like to be free, but like they always say, genies can't be choosers. You're probably miffed about the whole puppet of the Jafar thing, anyway. Got now, wish for what's really in your heart. Be a prince, get the girl. Okay, here goes. Genie, I wish for your freedom. But ow! Now, no one like Jafar can use you for evil again, Genie. You're free. Al, I'll never forget this. But what about Jasmine? What are you going to do? I was wrong, Genie. If I used your help to win Jasmine... Two seconds, guys. I'll be right back. I'd be no better than Jafar. Jasmine means the world to me. I want to show her the real me. That's the spirit. Thanks, and good luck to you too. What for? I was ready to give up back there, but what you said really kept me going. That's when it hit me. You must be looking for someone you care about too. Yeah. Listen, Genie. Say no more, little pal. I know just what you're thinking. Here you go, Sora. Genie. Hi, right, Petraeus. Thanks for hanging as always, buddy. I appreciate it. Good luck with your uh, Greek classes, and uh, hopefully we'll catch you next time. Whenever you need me, just call. Is that okay with you, Al? Of course. Are you sure? Any time at all. Hey, without you guys, I might never have been able to ditch that lamp. I think Aladdin will be fine from fine without me for at least a little while. I see. Thanks. Let's hope both our wishes come true then, Sora. Take care. Yeah, we messed that last sentence up, but it's fine. It's fine. Genie. Okay, so... Any last goodies to be had? Still points. More Moogle points. All right, we'll grab a save. And then we are heading back to Castle Oblivion to level five, I believe. Fifth floor. Let's see what this uh, fifth floor has in store for us. that have been before in my memory it wasn't Kyrie, but another girl 
Maybe... I think her name was... Sorry! Yeah? Let's go! You wanna find Rico and the pig, don't you? Uh, Chill out, Donald. Sure. Man, it was right on the tip of my tongue. Um, you say Final Fantasy, uh, crazy? Which one do you mean? I've still been playing Final Fantasy VIII. I've still not quite finished that. Um, working on trophies and achievements at the minute. I've got about four or five left to go on that one. I remember. Huh? There was another girl. What? A girl? Where? No, no. I mean on the islands where I used to live. Besides Kyrie and Riku, there was one other girl I was friends with. The four of us played together all the time. Sora? Seems to me that's the first time you've mentioned her. Yeah. I guess I forgot all about her. I think... She just suddenly went away when I was still really little. What do you think makes you remember that now? I'm not sure, but it's been coming back in pieces as we go through the castle. Gorse, do you remember her name? I don't remember. I feel kind of dumb. We said we weren't going to forget our friends, and well now, I can't even remember her name. Sora. Oh, you shouldn't be worrying none. If it's been coming back to you in pieces, you're sure to remember her name just like everything else. Hmm. Yeah, so like I was saying, Crazy, um, I'm just working on achievements at the minute, and I'm just working on one at the minute, which is a bit ridiculous because you have to get... Um, Total of 10,000 kills. So, um, yeah, I'm just putting uh, a lot of hours in where I can, just racking up kills. I think I'm at like about 4,000 at the minute, so like another 6,000 to go. So it's going to take me probably about another 20 hours just to get like those kills. Um, I've got to do, I've, I finished the game like once. Um, I'm on a second playthrough at the minute. And then I potentially do a third playthrough just to get the last achievement. It's an achievement where you have to finish the game on like initial level of your main character. So yeah, it's just time consuming. Um, as well as that, I'm also working on the original like Kingdom Hearts 1 Platinum as well. And all the trophies. Um, of which I'm on my third playthrough of that. I'm currently playing through on hard difficulty. Uh, once I've done the hard difficulty playthrough, I'm not going to go back and then do all like the grindy stuff because there's quite a bit of grindy, um, collectible sort of stuff to do in Kingdom Hearts 1 and the Kingdom Hearts games. So, um, yeah, we'll be going back to that um, just as soon as um, I'm doing off stream. So, yeah, kind of working on the two at the minute at the same time. As well as our initial playthrough of this, of course. All right, so do we go to Monstro or do we go to Halloween Town? I say let's go to Monstro next. Monstro and Pinocchio and Geppetto. Lally, 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 la. What was the boss in Monstro? It was the, um, the plant thing, wasn't it? Yeah. Little bit of place, everything's kind of springy and soft. Nice and warm too, I'm starting to feel like a nap. I think you should be a little more worried. Who's that? We're inside the belly of Monstro the Whale. 
Why, I know that voice. Pinocchio! Pinocchio, it's you! Come on out! Is that you, Jiminy? Gosh, I thought I'd never see you again. Gee, there's no way you wouldn't find me again. I'm in your conscience. And your conscience will always be your guide, remember? It's sure, Jiminy. And I've been a good boy, I promise. I didn't tell a single lie. Yeah. Oh. Well, for Pete's sake. Oops. But how did you end up inside Monstro, anyway? Well, uh, sort of used a special way. So special, we don't know how we did it. That's too bad. I was hoping you could help me and father get out of here. Well, I'll be. Geppetto's here, too. Sure he is. Follow me. Monstro. This is quite the interesting looking place. I think I should probably put Genie. Um, I think I maybe should have looked at my deck and put um, Genie in, maybe, but we'll see. Let's see how things go. Keep on chipping away. Interesting. I said they can look at the map. Um, do you want to hang a right?
guess. We'll go this way. Heartless will appear, right? Yeah, I've really had a hard job there, kind of um, hitting. It's been more like card breaking than anything. Yeah, it's meant to be like a weaker enemies, which is interesting. I get to use my heel. Play the five then. This combo, which um, is not the strongest. So many like cards from battles that Courage. it's a little bit weird. More cards than I can actually use. Hmm. 
need to use my heal card straight away. Do. Certainly not struggling with the combat anymore anyway, which is good. going through there if I'm honest. So why is that per being communicated there isn't too many people it's easy to keep up with compared to community people who are really popular. A bit too much because of the being yeah. It's I I prefer smaller communities as well to be fair. Um that crazy. I totally understand what you're saying there be quite overwhelming sometimes as well when you like go into like a large community um, and you've got like hundreds of people like all talking at the same time to you I mean I don't even I didn't even know how I would like cope even keeping up with those sorts of like numbers of amount of people in a in a chat at the same time. I mean over the years I think I've done like a pretty good job of like being able to learn to keep up with chat and make sure I'm like constantly looking at and engaging with chat. I know some people do have like a hard time with but yeah. I, I, I like it just the way it is. Keep up with everything. Power. I think what you'll find is though, if you if you look at it in a bit more detail, I think you'll find that they they struggle to keep up. And I think what happens like when you're part when you've got like a bigger community like that and you're like people are battling to like talk and chat. It becomes quite apparent that like people I think that's when like people like spam chat because they're like, oh, okay, I've said this and the streamer hasn't taken notice of to what I've said, so I'm gonna keep saying it until they notice. When you know really they don't potentially appreciate that actually the streamer is like just concentrating on the game and they can't physically keep up with the amount of chat that is scrolling up and down um but yeah there is also the, the element that you know a lot of them don't read chat as well so yeah it's it's weird really i'm gonna use a moogle here because i want to Oh, yeah. some cards. I feel like we've um, upgraded our deck for a considerable amount of time. 
gonna grab some more Moogle points, and then we're gonna have a chat and see what we can get out of this Moogle, because we've got a lot of points. We have 2,000 Moogle points in total. It gives the car pack free anyway. Nice. I wonder if like you get the same cards each time. Like if you play this once and you know you like take notice of where the cards come out. I wonder if they kind of um constantly appear there. Handy for speedruns, I guess, if you knew which cards were coming out what. Yeah. Nine Simba cards, good one. I don't think I've used an ether yet, but that's interesting that we can reload magic cards quickly. So we need 600 points then to buy um, some of the other ones. We also need to spend a bit of time like rebuilding our deck. Review our decks. Take this one. I'm going to clear it. Uh, let's call this. We call it Let's call it two. There's no point in messing about, I guess. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. A clued card. And two successive sword attacks. Thunder Grave or Stop. Okay, so let's first and foremost bring in the heal. We want a quick reload of our deck. And I guess let's put an Aether in there as well. Okay, so now we want some attack card. That's cost like 118 already. Let's build a bit of a weird deck there. One. Two, 220 out of 550, so we've got 280 left to play with. Need some big hitting cards as well, don't we? Let's 
fuse that together. So use that together. And I want some zero cards in here as well. Just to save me from time to time. Okay, got 155 left. We've got 16 in the deck. I'm trying to kind of arrange them in a way where I can use them together. Attack power of cards when low on HP. Stop enemies from breaking attack cards you use. That could be an interesting card to use. Sixty-five. Though. I've already got enough points for that. We got like 30 odd left. I've not got enough attack cards in this deck. Okay, let's drop the let's get rid of that. Eight points left. I don't think we're gonna squeeze anything in for eight points. Um Okay, well, we'll see. I guess we'll see how this one goes. Not really got a lot of, like, low throwaway combo cards either, though. Alright, so I've got like three sets there that I can use for combos. Um, slightly over. I got a different genie card like okay let's get rid of the seven genie and we'll play the five instead that keeps us in okay 
Um... All right, let's give deck one a go then, I guess. But we'll... Uh... Welcome back from your blender stuff. Okay, what do we need here? Let's have a look. Um, five. Let's go for a treasure room. 